I'm driving today for the first time, so yeah. Okay, so the reason that uh, driveway was significant is because you'll notice I was not in the car. Uh, I've been going to school with them and they've been taking me to work for the last two months, but today I am driving again for the first time. Okay, I love you, dude. I'm going. I'm going to drive for the first time. Thank you. Love you, dude. Here I go. I thought you didn't like outside. Maybe it's just the backyard. So, because I haven't driven in two months, the car's also been sitting here <laughs> undriven and unwashed for two months. We might have to take care of that today. Hanging behind me, do you think? And then I can hop out, or I could put them from down there towards the back, and I could reach them from the front seat. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. I thought it'd be way fun, but I'm just a little bit nervous. <laughs> oh, you got your chest? <laughs> I love you, dude. I'm gonna miss you coming to get me at work and dropping me off, especially the last couple days. You've taken me all the way up to my office. Okay, I love you, dude. Love you. Here I go. Well, it's a good sign that the car actually starts. Okay, you guys. I love you. Love you. I got this. Okay. Feels a little weird on my foot. Yeah, I'm trying it right now. I'll probably do like a circle around here and just start and stop and stuff. My car feels like it's shaking too. It hasn't <laughs> been driven in a while. <laughs> okay? I'm a little nervous, but <laughs> we're going for it. I feel like he's 16 and I'm like, <laughs> okay, love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Bye, Brex. Stop worrying about that GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta document the moment. <laughs> it feels okay. Bye, love you. See you, man. See you, man. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, a lot of support out there for me today. It feels okay. I think what I realize is that it's up a little closer because my wife was driving. Stuff just feels weird, like, well, one, I haven't driven in two months, period, so that's a little weird. But I also haven't used my foot for anything. So just pushing gently with my toe and then arching back and forth, those simple motions that you just take for granted uh, really feel weird, they're super stiff, a little bit sore. But it's kind of fun, I'm out on my own. I'm gonna stop videoing as I get out onto a regular street though, uh, because I wanna focus on what I'm doing here. You should be like riding a bike or driving a car, right? <laughs> Quick little update, any type of abrasive braking, even just to, you know, if I'm not quite sure uh, how quickly this, the line in front of me is stopping at a stoplight, a little more painful than I was hoping for. I know this is all just part of like, you know, muscle memory, just getting things back to how they used to be. You gotta exercise and work it out. But a little tricky, a little tricky. It's nice to be back uh, on my own driving though. I'm just surprised at how tight it is. Certainly driving extra cautious, uh, probably annoying everyone around me by how slow I'm going, how quickly I'm stopping, you know, in advance of a need to stop. Ah, but just that ankle twist. enough to know that I am not going to be picking up my phone and driving and videoing. I used to have my phone connected to the Bluetooth in the car. Unfortunately, I dropped my phone in the toilet, uh, one of the first attempts going to the bathroom with a broken leg and just couldn't get my pants on right and it fell in the toilet. So this is a new phone. Um, that has not been synced with this car yet, so I'll have to take care of that when I get to work. The reason I'm driving today is because I've been cleared to drive and put about 50% weight on my leg. How do you gauge 50% weight? I have no idea. 
Uh, he even said 20 to 50%. And one of my friends joked, what if you put 51%? Is that gonna break your leg? I have no idea. Um, and I don't know how to tell how much pressure I'm putting on it. I just know that I'm gonna take it easy, uh, put a little bit of pressure on it, kind of start to crutch and put the foot down. And slowly but surely, we're beginning this process of getting my leg back working again and getting it back to normal. So I'm very encouraged and excited to be driving today. That's a big step. Um, and then also being able to put a little bit of pressure on my leg uh, because that's going to start getting my muscles back to working. Boy, I haven't had to park in a while either. I've just been uh, getting dropped off. So let's find a parking spot here. The next part of this is now getting the boot on, crutches out, backpack, lunch, all those things that my precious wife was taking care of for me. I just get dropped off at the front door, everything's handed to me and I walk away. Um, but obviously can't drive with that gigantic boot on, so drive with it off, get to work, put the boot on, grab my crutches, backpack, lunch, and head in. So let's check that out. Gosh, before I get out, I just wanted to say I'm feeling very grateful and very blessed to be driving again. This is a big deal. Um, it's been a long and uh, patience building process and it just feels really good. I feel really grateful to be driving again today. It's a cool step in the right direction. did it we made it all right wildly successful day driving into work now deboot and make the drive back there are definitely some things that I have loved about driving and there are some things that I miss about not driving and it's not exactly incredibly convenient yet the things that I absolutely love about being able to drive again are the freedom that it comes with. You know, I can go grab a drink if I want in the middle of the day, I can run some errands, I can go home for lunch if I want. Now I didn't do any of those things today because uh, I just wanted to minimize the amount of driving that I did just for day one. But just the ability to go home for lunch, hang out with my family if I want to, if I feel like running to the convenience store to get something, run an errand, go out to lunch, uh, just being in control and having that freedom. So most definitely that is what I love most about being able to drive again. Some of the stuff that I will absolutely miss and I will always miss, uh, having the entire family load up the van just to take me to work, being able to start my day with everybody that I love the most and care about the most in the car with me, drop me off. The one that really hit me the hardest today was as the day was winding down and I was starting to gather my things together. It hit me that they're not gonna be, I'm not gonna have the little pitter patter of feet running up the stairs and running into my office to come pick up dad. That's something that I just came to love and something that was the highlight of my day is having all three of my boys, sometimes they would take turns, uh, but having them just rush my office in excitement to see me, huge smiles, you know, they'd want a little treat, they'd want to see what I was working on that day. That's something that I will absolutely miss. And Mindy tells me that they would ask about it starting you know, before lunch, who gets to go get dad today? Who's gonna get to go up to the office today? So I know it was something that meant a lot to them and something that they looked forward to. So that one's gonna be kind of hard uh, to say goodbye to and I'll definitely miss that. We're not 
fully back, but this is a huge step in the right direction. Get it? Step.